Hi, everyone. My name is John Livingston. I'm the CEO of Verve Industrial Protection. Uh, Verve is a next generation uh, OT endpoint detection and response platform, uh, as well as uh, offering a range of managed services around detection uh, and response in the OT landscape. Verve started uh, 25, 26 years ago now uh, as an industrial controls engineering company focused on designing and integrating control systems for uh, manufacturing, power, chemicals, oil and gas, et cetera. Uh, in 2008, we introduced the Verve Security Center uh, to essentially provide an integrated platform for cybersecurity for the OT environment. Uh, we recently released in 2020 version eight uh, of that platform. Uh, what the platform does is it provides comprehensive NIST uh, CSF or CIS top 20, uh, IEC 62443 and other standards uh, security uh, to the OT environment. Um, and it does that through an endpoint uh, focused approach rather than a network uh, anomaly detection approach. Um, we integrate that platform with a range of managed services uh, from patch management to uh, detection and response to vulnerability management, uh, et cetera. Um, we have uh, over 100 customers, um, about 1,500 plus global uh, deployments. So as we sit here today, we wanted to just touch on several key themes that we hear from our customers about their challenges uh, in achieving industrial cybersecurity. First and foremost is how do they get, how do you get a, a view of all of your assets and the risks of those assets? And then over time, build a security maturity roadmap to address the vulnerabilities and risks identified. Number two, how do you, uh, how do you demonstrate progress across that maturity to senior management, board of directors, et cetera. And, and how can you actually show that you're moving from low to high, as it were, on various uh, standards? Number three, uh, how do you achieve IT level security capabilities, but at the same time manage the unique situations, uh, sensitive devices, uh, et cetera, that you find in the OT environment? Number four, the challenge of simplifying. Um, give them, they need a single solution rather than managing 10 different tools with each OEM having its own uh, uh, toolkit, uh, each plant having its own set of tools, et cetera. Challenge of simplifying. And then finally, the challenge of scaling. Uh, we hear often, help me scale uh, this OT security uh, because I don't have a lot of resources to make this happen. Um, and this, these are common themes that we've heard over, frankly, a decade, which is why uh, we've built Verve, both our software and our services, to address those challenges. As I mentioned before, the Verve Security Center uh, uh, addresses the key requirements of most of the uh, cybersecurity standards. That begins with the identify piece. Verve's unique approach to gathering asset inventory, the only endpoint uh, focused approach to gathering deep, rich asset inventory, vulnerability assessment, configurations, et cetera. One of the most important parts um, of cybersecurity, obviously, is not just identifying your risks, but then actually be able to, being able to protect those assets through patch management, hardening configurations, managing users and accounts, et cetera. And Verve provides that protection layer by being able to automate patch management, um, take actions to harden and secure configurations right from the console. Uh, all uh, OT security requires detection. Um, Verve provides a host intrusion detection platform, different from the network intrusion detection platforms you may have heard of. We go directly to the endpoint to gather directly information on changes that are occurring, on DCS alarm information, et cetera. Then our response platform allows you to, to quickly respond across all this data and take actions. And then of course we provide recovery and backup to those critical systems all in a single platform. Um, what is different about this? Number one, as I mentioned before, we provide the deepest asset inventory available. This comes from a unique approach which uses an endpoint focus. We leverage an agent and agentless solution, uh, therefore getting very, very deep endpoint information, much richer asset information than you can get from passively uh, uh, measuring network traffic going through a switch. Secondly, that same approach allows us to do better risk management because we're seeing everything about that asset. 
from its software, all of the patches that have been installed and, and haven't been installed but are relevant, all the users, dormant users, uh, uh, network connections, et cetera. Number three, we can take actions. We can immediately pivot from identifying a risk or a vulnerability to taking an action right in the platform. Number four, it allows you to centralize the view and the analysis. We gather data from every site around the world into one single platform. This allows for scaling of resources to address uh, and analyze the risks rapidly. And then finally, we integrate with all of the traditional IT and operations tools, whether it be Splunk on the, on the, uh, on the uh, SIM side, or whether it be ServiceNow, whether you have a range of different uh, antivirus tools that each vendor offers, we bring that into birth. We integrate with dozens of different um, uh, solutions. What does that deliver in the end of the day? It delivers a rapid security maturity improvement. As you can see on this chart, one of our clients measured the before and after, uh, after they deployed Verve. The before are the gray lines and the after are the, are the gold bars. And what you see is that overall there was a 2x improvement, a measurable 2x improvement in their security maturity within a year. And it is this kind of, of demonstrable improvement in security maturity that we hear the boards of directors, uh, CISOs, et cetera, asking for. And through the use of Verve and platform, we can deliver that. So the question one might ask is, how do we do that? It starts with a fundamentally different architectural approach than any other solution in the market. Uh, we leverage, um, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, a unique, uh, specially tuned IT OT agent on all of the Windows, Unix, Linux type devices. Uh, this agent has been proven on all of the range of OEM control systems. Um, we then have an agentless service that communicates with all of your embedded devices to be able to gather configuration data from everything from uh, DCS controllers to PLCs to relays to all of your networking gear. And then, as I mentioned before, we have a range of integrations uh, through our open API with third party tools. Um, those That data comes up into an asset manager uh, that uh, those asset managers typically will, will sit at a site or across multiple sites, and then that gets rolled up to that central reporting console. And importantly, uh, that allows for, for actionability uh, to be done back through the asset managers uh, to, as I mentioned, remediate risks that, that occur. Um, importantly, as we mentioned, this is a very different uh, architecture than others use. Um, it provides much deeper insight, um, and it has been proven um, for over a decade. Um, in the OT environment. And that allows us to get a much deeper visibility, as I mentioned before, um, than you might be able to get with a uh, passive as asset uh, discovery type approach. Um, what Verve allows you to do is see deep, deep down with your sonar, so to speak, to get all installed software, all the patch status, not just what the OS is, but the actual patches that have been deployed, uh, password aging, uh, users and accounts, um, backup status, AV status, et cetera, et cetera. And that depth um, that we get through our architecture allows us to build, as I mentioned before, that 360 degree risk score. So not only your hardware and software inventories and your vulnerabilities, but actual missing patches, not as I mentioned, not just what the OS is, but actual missing patches, insecure configurations, user and account risk, et cetera, as well as asset criticality and impact. All of that comes together uh, to allow us to build a risk score for each independent, each individual asset, and then allow us to build a remediation plan that's most effective for that particular asset. And as you can see in a couple of these charts, this is the, the level of data that we're able to get, whether that be all of your assets across your environment or just down into specifically PLCs or specifically into your relays or your controllers in a DCS environment. And then on the right, you know, vulnerabilities uh, broken down by asset type you can get down to the risk score uh, of certain assets, um, vulnerability impact by type, et cetera. That, that rich data allows us to build a really deep view, which then allows you to prioritize. So on the left-hand side here, you can see I've taken all of the vulnerabilities that, that we have, and then I've prioritized those based on whether they're compensating controls in place, such as having whitelisting and lockdown, uh, whether uh, those assets are critical 
to my environment. And that allows us to help our clients prioritize those at greater risks. And then similarly on the right-hand side, we're able to see all the way down to accounts that have expired passwords, inactive accounts, um, by criticality, uh, how many admin accounts and what are they on all the assets, even if it's not domain link. Um, and that visibility allows us to address many of these quote unquote insecure by design issues. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, we often hear a lot of people talk about the vulnerabilities and being able to do, do anomaly detection. But frankly, if you've got a bunch of uh, expired accounts and, and uh, accounts with shared passwords or outdated passwords, et cetera, um, you know, you could do all that you want on, on trying to protect it. And someone can come in and, and use an account that has admin rights and go right around all of them. All of that data then uh, from the Verve platform allows us to build a risk assessment across all of the range of uh, defense in depth items that one might think of um, from the, the, the edges of policies and procedures and whether those are being followed, such as patch policies or, or configuration policies, et cetera, to the perimeter network, identifying insecurities in perimeter firewalls, uh, monitoring of, of NetFlow traffic to see if there are uh, uh, communications that shouldn't be ongoing at the ICS network level, identifying whether uh, certain layers of the Purdue model are communicating with others or certain subnets are communicating with some that shouldn't be looking at firewall rules to assess whether that is insecure. The access control and user account level, um, being able to prioritize uh, the risks of, of um, dormant users or password policy um, um, being not followed, uh, devices with default passwords, et cetera. And then finally, all the way down uh, to the host security itself, uh, patches, vulnerabilities, um, uh, AV not uh, in, in updated, uh, whitelisting not in lockdown, et cetera. And all of that then leads us to be able to help clients build a roadmap. As I said at the beginning, one of the key challenges is how do we describe a path from where we are today to a more mature security environment? This is something that we hear many times from our clients. And by gathering this data, conducting that assessment, using the platform and our services team, we can then help clients lay out a very robust uh, 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 timeline plan of how to improve that security maturity. And as we shared earlier, to be able to uh, over a year, 18 months, double, triple uh, your overall security maturity, specifically within your OT environment. So we're excited to talk with you more today to share more about how we do this, uh, what we've learned working with our clients and improving their maturity. And so uh, thank you very much for, for joining us today and we look forward to further conversations. Thank you.